Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. So at the start of this video, I'm very sad. I had a bit of a malfunction with my camera setup and all that stuff, and I filmed like a six minute intro for this video, as well as all the work we did to the roll cage and all of that footage corrupted and fucked up with my camera. So I'm not a happy chap. So that's part of uh, putting videos on the internet. A lot of the shit that you do can just spontaneously fuck up. So I think I'm just gonna show you the roll cage and stuff now, cause it's all in. It looks sick. I love how it come out. <laughs> looks so good. We have painted the rest of the car, but that's for later on in this video, cause it's already been done. But yeah, there she is. All bolted in as well. It's all bolted in. I uh, got one more bolt to do down there, cause I'm missing a bolt from the other car. Same with the other side, it's all bolted in and it's looking sick. So um, it was a bit of a pain in the ass to fit because the other car had an accident. So this, this side of the cage was kinked. So I had to sort of cut the top off and weld the bar a bit more on an angle that way. And this side fit up all right. It was a bit wedged, but we, man we managed to make it work. So it's all welded up now and painted. I just gotta, I'm probably gonna do some clear coat over it. So I'll just drop shade the interior and clear coat that. As you can see, we've got paint on the bodywork, but I'm not gonna show you that because that's for this video. So yeah, guys, I'm, I'm spilling because I had all my sanding and painting and stuff at the start and uh, it's all gone now. So that's part of, uh, part of YouTube for you. So I can't get too down about it, but the car's getting there. It's the main thing, I'm excited. Enjoy the rest of the video guys. And um, yeah, you're gonna like the way this car's come out. It looks so good. All right, so I pulled the guard off this side as well as the uh, side skirt. Got the guard here. I've just whacked some epoxy primer on it. Uh, it's not fully uh, covered. Just uh, I wasn't going to prime these guards. I was going to paint straight over them, but because it's a darker color, because we're trying to cover a blue with a like a silver, I thought it'd be better to epoxy it. At least it's got a sealer coat on it, and then we can uh, paint the, uh, the silver metallic over the top. A lot of you probably don't know, but um, I used to be in the paint and panel industry for about two and a half years. So I picked up a lot of skills through that as well. So. Uh, Let's hope this shitty rattle can job comes out half decent. Otherwise, I'll, I'll look like a fool. But um, yeah, so we epoxied that with this one. I'm, I'm literally just gonna paint straight over this because it's silver on silver. So I'm just gonna give this a nice scotch bright, just get it all nice and uh, uh, matte finish, and then we're gonna paint that as well. So hopefully we can have this side sort of done. -ish. These these will be sort of my test panels. So if anything goes wrong, we can sort of attend to it while we have them here. But yeah, so I'll let the uh, epoxy flash off, hit it one more coat, because there's a couple of tiger stripes there, I can see. I'll whack some top coat on it. Hopefully we've mixed it right. So we need that front color on this front yeah the bonnet uh, we're gonna do black so we don't have to worry about that if i if i rattle can that that'll tiger stripe the shit out of that i <laughs> also forgot to mention that we have the uh the concept paints clear as well i don't think i'm gonna worry too much about um rubbing the clear back to get a nice finish uh you know it, it's gonna be pretty orange peely but who cares all right guys so just quickly went over them with the uh top coat color and they actually come up really really cool so i decided to do this off camera just so i could sort of test everything make sure nothing was gonna you know react you like my lolly so everything seems to be going well. So I have a little bit of paint left over from one of the cans. So one of the cans got uh, full coverage for the skirt and one guard. So that means another can for a skirt and guard, one for the rear lip and the front lip. So we should be good for materials. So we'll have enough to touch up anything. But don't worry guys, don't yell at me because I didn't film it because I'm going to do the other side and show you in depth a bit more. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> so that's just top coat, no clear. Uh, I'm going to whack the clear on now. Here's my lolly again. And hopefully they come up minty. But yeah, the color looks pretty sick. So hopefully it matches up. It's not going to be perfect. It probably won't match up at all, but who cares? It's a drift car. <laughs> well, guys, we've got one side done. It looks so sick from this angle, at least. Now, the color isn't 100% spot on, but it actually come up really well. I'm really impressed with that. The skirt looks fantastic. It looks like it come off this car. Um, yeah, the guard's a little bit darker. Obviously, you're going to get that mismatch with newer tinters and that. Obviously, you know, you've got oxidization and, and um, you know, you're never going to get that color match perfect unless you do it all by eye, but... For a rattle can, that looks really, really good. Yeah, the skirt come up grouse. I'm really happy with the skirt. Yeah, the guard, obviously, you can still see the dints in it. Don't really care too much, but I actually popped a lot of them out. There were much worse dints in it, but I popped them all out because I'll just give it a bit of a tap Oh man, this thing's coming together so sick. I can't wait for the rear one to be done and that front bumper bar. Also, uh, my front lip's coming for this. It's the universal like front lip, so I had to sort of just tie up the front end a bit more. Oh, this car's looking so sick. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it's going to look so sick with the black bonnet. You sort of get an idea with the dark blue how it's going to look once the front bar's painted. I'm like that type of person. No matter what kind of car it is, I get so excited over it. You know, I've got Skylines, I've got, you know, RX-7s, everything. And, you know, shit apes like this still, still get me so excited. Yeah, oh, with the cage too. Rep Autobahn Epping represent. Thank you guys for helping me out. Legends. But with the cage, the skirts. Oh, I'm going to stop talking. All right, we'll come back tomorrow, which will be in this video, of course. And, uh... And try and get most of it in one color. Oh well, guys, we're back today and it is a half sunny, half raining day, so it's pretty shit, but here's the car. It's starting to look like a complete car now, except minus the bumper bar missing, but here's the bumper bar. So we're gonna start on that today. I'm gonna try and get this out of the way. 
Uh, so sand it all up. It's all like cracked and got crow's feet everywhere. So I'm gonna try and sand all that out with the sander. Um, got the chrome here. Gonna take mask that up. Our front lip came in today. So we got this like universal front lip off eBay. So I put him down there. That's the center section. It's like a universal one, so you can you can make it fit towards sort of any car. And then these are sort of the ends. I have these little, I don't I don't know what you call this, a splitter or a canard that comes up the top, and that sort of goes on the end there. So I'm going to try and dummy fit that up onto this bumper bar. Uh, a few cars run this, a few Falcons, so this should look pretty good. So these will sort of go there somewhere, and uh, we'll get to sanding and painting this bumper bar. Try to do the other guard and the skirt today, and the rear lip. So hopefully that's mostly everything we've got to paint body color. Here she is. Cage looks sick. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that's everything body color. And then we got to do the bonnet. So I'm either going to wrap the bonnet or paint it, not too sure yet. All right, guys, so I've just very roughly put this front bar in primer. I did it off camera because mum was mowing the lawns just then, so I just had to do it with a bit of background noise. But guards over here, all EP'd, ready to go, epoxy primer. This bar is just flashing off. Still gotta come over here and whack the skirt off and I gotta give that a sand, get that ready for primer. I test fitted the lip so you can see, oh, obviously I haven't painted down here cause I don't really give a shit, but um, all these holes down the bottom are all for the lip. So I've test fitted that, it fits really nicely. You'll see that when it's all together. So I'll bring you back and we start throwing some color on these. Okay guys, so just put a bit of a tack coat on this one. As, as you can see, there's not much coverage uh, just to sort of haze the paint on, give it to stick a bit on the epoxy. Um, the good thing about this is I just went through the first can and it still managed to do a tack coat on this guard. It did that guard, that skirt, full coats, and this guard here. So that's pretty good. And we've got three cans remaining. So with the way we're going, we should go through one can on the bumper bar. Uh, not much more on this because we just got to cover it. That skirt and the rear lip. So we should have enough materials and the bonnet's going black, so we're Gucci. But yeah, should have enough materials to do the whole thing. So I'm gonna shake. This gets a bit windy, which is annoying because I might get a bit of shit in the clear just because of the wind, but oh well. Do like my panel stand as well. I made that in like year seven. Using the cam for the first time, sometimes it comes out a bit quick. So, oh, it's perfect. Nice. Now you don't want any runs in the base because you'll see it <laughs> and you can't sand it out. Don't have to worry about too much down there because the skirt's going to cover that. Don't forget to go over all the edges. The good thing is we have materials. Uh, usually I do the edges first, but like I said, it's a track car. Beautiful. So once that dries, hopefully not any tiger striping and uh, we'll hit that bumper. Well, fuck me, do I get carried away? <laughs> so I finished the guard, done the clear on the guard, uh, done the bumper bar, done the clear on that too. And we've just done our last base coat on the skirt. So letting that dry off and then I'm gonna hit that with some clear and then we're done for the front. I just gotta do the rear lip. So I might just turn the car around, reverse it in and I'll do that on the car. I'll just mask up the rear bar and do it there. Actually, I might take the rear bar off and then just put the bar here and mask the bar up. I'll probably do that actually, yeah. Uh, so I turned it around. Do you guys wanna see the rear lip? I did it very quickly. <laughs> it actually came out really, really cool. <laughs> fuck, that looks mint. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. That came out grouse. Can't believe how excited I get over fucking bogan mobiles. And then with the cage and everything, oh, it just ties everything in. But uh, this side looks extra stellar because I've got the skirt and guard. But now, I've got the bumper bar here. Everything's dried off so I can hand touch it. Um, the best thing about painting cars, clipping the indicators back in. I think I went this way to go that way, this way, that way. Which way did it go, guys? Actually, I took the other guard, eh? <laughs> I forgot which way it went. Okay, so thick, thick part of the back. Like this. Oh, so satisfying. All right, guys, so I've got the front end sitting back on there now. Um, so both guards are on there and skirts. You can see, they can't really nice. I'm really happy with that. If I gave them a polish, you know, they'd actually can't real sick. Obviously, you can see the depth in the clear is a lot different because this is a can job, so it comes out a bit more uh, a bit more matty, but, you know, we can get that color back. The skirts come out grouse. I'm really happy with that. And the rear lip. Ooh. Uh, I'm literally ready to put that front bar on now. Here she is. I've got the lip on it all ready to go. So you can see the lips on it looking good. So I still got to muck around with the fitting of the lip, but I'm pretty happy with the way it looks at the moment. Uh, the bar came out pretty good for a rough job. I barely got most of the spider cracking and crow's feet out of it. But other than that, it's a track car. It was a pretty rough job. Uh, also, uh, today I'm going to paint the bonnet. Now I was going to do it black, but I'm going to do it body color now. 
because I just went over it in my head and thought black yeah I, I, I don't know I, I was trying to because I, I, you sort of look the lighter color there and you can just sort of tell how it will look but I think it'll look better with body color I've still got plenty of materials to finish it off so I think I'm going to do it in uh in body color so I'm going to drop sheet the car and just paint it on the car so I'll just get a quick sand uh, I've got some drop sheets over there I just got to put under there cover everything up and I'll uh touch it up I'll mask all this off but for now let's put this front bumper bar on and see how it's going to look all right sit this on try not to scratch anything it's a bit hard because of the oh that's all right it's popped in so because of the uh damaged rio that's in beautiful she's in how's it look guys oh oh it's hot oh it looks mint oh yeah it looks sick oh yeah I'm gonna run the nuts in, bolt that up, and I'm gonna straighten the wheels out so we can get a good look at it. Looks like a Lamborghini Aventador all dip, doesn't it? All right, let's have a look. Okay, that looks pretty fat. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks so good. I mean, it's too it's dark on the camera, but oh my God. What I gotta do as well is I gotta try and figure out a way to prop up the bar under the headlights. Yeah, I really wanna, I really wanna be able to do that. Maybe a pool noodle trick or something. I don't think the rear goes that far in, so I might have to do some, do some MacGyver action there, but that's with the bonnet still propped up too. I'll close that like that. Oh yeah, that looks fat. Holy shit, I can't wait to do the um, the angry eyes, or the eyelids, I should say. That's gonna look so sick. Fuck, this car's coming out grouse. I love this thing. Fuck, yeah. I'm really liking the way this car's looking, with the cage and everything now. Still gotta paint the wheels up. That's fine. But yeah, guys, guys. Oh, that looks so good. Is that they, you over there? You versus the guys talking to worry about. Well, seeing that I'm having a bit of a boner right now, I'm going to start sanding this bonnet now. So I'm gonna drop sheet everything. And uh, I'm just going to do a pretty rough sand over it. I'll just pop the uh, the jets out. See if this comes off. If not, I'll mask it up. Mask up the chrome. And uh, yeah, Whew. I'm excited to see how it all looks in one color. Hopefully I can get the clear on nicely too. It doesn't tiger stripe. And voila, we are drop sheeted and sanded. I ran out of newspaper, so I ended up uh, having some old clothes up the top there. Taped up just to stop overspray getting up over the roof and the windscreen. Drop sheeted the whole front end, so that's all protected. Now I've just uh, gone over this, sanded this, just take the shine off of it. Uh, there's a few chips in that that I don't really give a shit about because, you know, race car. Uh, so I'm just going to go over with some prep style, clean it, wipe it all down with a tack rag and just put some epoxy primer over it and then clear it. Oh, not clear it, then base and then clear it. Hopefully it should come out nice. All right, guys, just got our second base coat on there. So it's coming up really nice. I'm uh, just going to go over it one more time just to make sure there's no streaking. Probably going to get streaking regardless. You can see a little bit of it there, but that's a can job for you on a big panel. So I'm just going to continue doing that. And hopefully the clear and everything comes out nice. Uh, you can see all the little fucking nicks and everything from before we had it and the big big dent there and a bug dunt so uh, it doesn't really matter <laughs> but yeah you can see all the little marks and shit like that who cares who cares it's a track car all right guys so just put the clear on now and i'm gonna let that sit and hopefully it uh, comes out all right probably gonna be a bit streaky but you know what i don't give a shit let that tack off for a bit then i'll unmask it i'll put the bonnet up unmask everything around it and uh, hopefully nothing falls onto the paint all right so while we got the car in there i'm just letting the bonnet dry over there uh, here's our Walbro 255 fuel pump. Oh, there it goes. This is our 255. The 255. Two, this is our 255 pump. Walbro. It says Walbro automotive fuel pumps are now TI automotive. I have no idea what that means. Let's see our table of contents. So here's the sleeve, the wires, the plug, all that shit. I've fitted so many of these pumps to the cars that I've got. And this is our drop-in 255 Walbro, and looking good. I like it. So hopefully this is a direct. It said it was for AU. So hopefully uh. All this just works. So I'm gonna move all this shit out of the way. We're gonna get to the pump that's in there. So I'll bring you back when we've got all that apart. I'll show you what we're gonna do. Well, that took forever. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done one of those before, so I had those stupid um, fucking lock release lines, whatever the fuck they're called, the snap lock lines on them. That took ages to get off, but um, there's a locking ring that goes around it, which was a pain. But So here's our old assembly, and here's our new pump, so you can see the way it's mounted. I'm going to try and mount the pump a little bit lower. Just the lower it is, the easier it'll pick up, and uh, obviously with the 255, we've got more, more power too. All right, guys, well, I'm on my phone now because my stupid camera didn't get any of this because it fucking broke or something, I don't know. Just didn't record this, but here's my uh, ghetto fuel pump setup. So, got the Warbro 55 in there. Now, it's much smaller inside this cradle 
than the existing pump. It does flow a lot faster, so I've just uh, rigged it up with some metal zip ties. I've dropped it as low as I can, uh, so you can barely see the top of the pump there. We've uh, wired it into our Ford plug. Got the sock on there, uh, and then yeah, I just gotta muck around with it, get it to straighten up a bit, and then we'll drop it back in the tank and see if it see if it works. <laughs> all right, guys, managed to get the GoPro rolling again, so fuel pump assembly all back together. Before I tighten it all, let's just see if the car will run with the new fuel pump. So we'll listen for a prime. Oh fuck, that sounded fast. Oh. Lovely. fuel pump humming away now we got more fuel supply so I'm just gonna let that run for a bit just make sure it's got no air or anything in it and put the put the cover and everything back on oh she's running good hopefully when we go side to side no surge anymore or well, never surge anyway but this will just eliminate it completely but um yeah So I just had it running for a while, just bump the revs a bit and yeah, she's sounding really nice. So now that it's dark, I'm going to come back tomorrow or the day after and uh, then I'll show you guys the rest of the front all painted up. So I think pretty much we just got to weld the diff now, just do a bit of suspension tuning and shit like that. Now I've got to finish off painting the rest of the cage and clear coating that. Yep, all right, well I'm going to put all this back together and uh, see you when it's uh, daylight again. guys what do you think I think it looks fucking awesome <laughs> so I've done the uh, sleepy eyes on the front looks like a chaser <laughs> needs a wash though it's fucking filthy it's so dusty So nice I love the way this car's come out guys oh my god I fixed a bit of the bumper sag but that bit of the bottom is really hard to get uh, I think it's because it's got a slit there but oh well so I haven't driven it with the fuel pump yet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys on the windscreen and we'll just go for a little blocky and make sure we got no stuttering or anything and uh, I think the coil pack's still a bit bad so we'll just make sure the pump works all good as soon as I turn the key on it's much much louder than the other pumps so that's good all right, guys, we're recording. Uh, don't worry about the uh, blotchy welds over there. I still haven't finished that. Please don't get angry at me. But yeah, I'm just gonna go for a little run and just, uh, oh, the brakes are squeaky. And just test this uh, this pump, make sure it's all good. I can hear it in the back wheeling, nice and, nice and uh, loud. My door's open. a resonator or something just to stop that really really low drone it is fully straight piped anyway yeah that'll do it it's running really nice though like um started it today didn't run on five cylinders i have put fresh fuel in it too so might have even been bad fuel let's just give it a feel and just make sure it's got good fuel supply and goes good it feels good. okay there's a lot of tools in the back i forgot we're in there Goes good. That feels solid. It feels very solid. I had much more pull to it than last time, 100%. Fucking sounds good. The burbles and the when you're going downhill. <laughs> nah, it does. It sounds gross. It pulls hard. That's what you want because I wanted to have, you know, a good power curve, you know, giving it the beans. I wish my driver's window worked because I want to put it fucking down. <laughs> yeah, fucking rips with the uh, new fuel pump. So we got good fuel delivery now. Hopefully when we shush. Oh, fuel lights just come on. Yeah, hopefully when we um, throw it hard sideways and that we get no surging anymore. We have a lot more uh, efficient fuel delivery now, which is good. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, I'm going to jack the front up. I'm going to see. I think I've got black wheel paint, so I'm going to paint the front wheels if I do. 
and I'm gonna roll that front left guard and I might just raise the coilovers up just a hair. Yeah, next is the diff. So with the diff situation, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the diff center out of the EF. That's gonna that's gonna lock the welded center and just plop it in here. And uh, I'll probably just go change the ring gears because this is a three two three or three two five, whatever the fuck the fair ones come with. And my fair my Futura I think is a three oh eight. So hopefully I'll, I'll I'll make sure the ratios if they're not if they're the same I can just plop it plop it in. If not, um, I'll just put the welded center into this car. And um, yeah, the center will work, but the axles won't because I think the EF diffs are shorter. The actual axles are shorter. That's that's fine. That's fine. Um, that's pretty much what we have left to do. So I've got to finish off this cage behind me. You can probably tell the welds are fucking looking horrible because I've literally just gone over it roughly. And um, yeah, I'm going to grind back the mess and um, just go over any pinholes or anything that, that I can uh, I can see. And yeah, yeah, we're, all, we're nearly ready to rock and roll. Now this is the best part, crossing shit off the list. So now we can cross off paint front. That's all done. That's done. To lock the diff, that's not too hard to do. Uh, hydro, we're not worrying about that ASAP. That's going to be sort of later on. Uh, paint kit, yep, all done. Wheels, we still got to do, so we'll leave that. Leave that for now. Uh, underglow buckets. This is all shit I don't really care about. And on the back side, fuel pump. Done. Done. Extinguisher. We still got to do that. That's no biggie. Just go to Autobahn and buy one of those little kits. We're getting there. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. I love the way this car looks. Hopefully, it looks just as good on track as it does here. So I've already done this one. This one look very nice. And then we have the caterpillar that he's got the pant on it. This one look very shine. But yeah, I just uh, quickly did these off camera. Do the other side for you, just to make sure all the paints are right. Because I did have some black uh, wheel paint left over, which is the VHT stuff, which is uh, just this wheel paint black. And I had some clear lining lying around, which, oh, there it is. I had some clear lying around, and I had some gold left over from the cage. So the calipers can match the cage. Looks tough with the angry eyes. Looks very angry. I still got to fix that lip. I got to bring it that bit out a bit so it's nice and straight. All right, so I've just got, well, not masked up, but just some cardboard around there. Just stop some overspray on the tires. So I just got some black paint. Go over it there. Let's go around there first. Just get a bit of a coverage coat. Try not to go too heavy. You just want to get the whole thing covered. Now, wheels are the hardest thing to paint because of all the spokes and shit like that. But your main thing is just to try and get every every bit covered and then go heavy on the main parts later on. See how these wheels, the spokes sort of concave in there. It's very hard to get very hard to get paint in there. All right, so we'll let that sit for a bit, go another coat, and then clear. All right, so while we let that dry, I'm gonna go over to the car over here. I'm gonna just put some gold on the calipers. I'll give you a sneak peek at the other side while we're here. Just to show you how it's going to look. So I've just got it masked up here very poorly. Uh, more so to protect, protect the coil over the lock kit and the disc. It's going to haze over some gold. Done. Three coats of that and a clear and we're done. All right, it's all done. Let's drop her down. Make sure we don't fucking rip the lip off as well. All right. Oh, much better. Much better. Now, I was going to do the wheels white, but now I've uh, gone with the black because yeah, it matches the lip and everything. The grey and the black. Yeah, it looks so much better. All right, I'm going to pull it out into the street and uh, we're going to get a better look at it. Well guys, what can I say? I am so happy with the final outcome of this car. For something that's cost us, you know, just over two grand, I am gonna do a full budget breakdown on this car as soon as we're done with it. Once it's fully ready for the track, we'll do a budget breakdown, how much it owes us. But for the money, you know, I feel like this car's gonna be a bunch of fun. You know, I love the way the cage looks, I love the way it's come out. Just the whole aesthetics of the car looks so good. You can make, you know, a shitty old Ford look really cool. I love the Fairlane front. I reckon that's really tied this car off, you know, with the, Lazy eye. This is sort of the vision I had building this car. Really, really, really did. And um, it's all come to fruition now and it just looks unreal. <laughs> I hope you guys like the style and the birds are chirping today. Yeah, I really love the style of this car. It's very, you know, chase a VIP at the front. Then it just goes into shard bus at the back, which is exactly what we want. But um, with the lip and everything, it just sort of ties the car in. Yeah, I'm really, really wrapped. Really wrapped with the way it's come out. Looks so good. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. and. Uh, yeah, if you like it, if you don't, uh, if it, you know, inspires you to build your own car, let me know. This is the reason I do what I do on the channel. You know, try to get you guys out there to do the same thing as me. Well, without further ado, guys, 
I'll leave it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching and following along with this series. We're not done, so stick around and I'll we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Oh, 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 oh,